Hi, I'm James Treble. I'm here with Brickworks and welcome to Get The Look. In this series, I'm going to analyze and break down some of the most popular housing styles so that you can get the look to make your own dream home. We're going to help you create a cohesive palette of colors, finishes and materials so that you can create a home that is truly your own. Today we're off to the industrial estate, but don't think of that dirty old factory. The modern industrial look takes its cue from former industrial spaces and factories that have now become residential. Think of rich texture, a moody dark color palette, and it's perfect for those after the edgy look. Let's go get the look. When I create a color scheme, I of course look at the architecture of the home and then base it on the theme that I'm looking for to create the palette. As far as the finishes for the modern industrial look, you can't go past brick. It's a common feature in all factories and industrial sites, especially ones that have been now turned into residential living because it's actually the look and texture of brick that allows them to be so appealing. In the images that you're looking at, you can see the beautiful use of the barrel brick it's got this rich, earthy texture that replicates the look of former industrial sites so beautifully. It's a solid brick, which means it has great thermal qualities. And this is important for a modern home as it can deal with all that mother nature throws at it. For those of you after something a little bit different, we of course have another brick option. This is a little bit deeper, a more charcoal tone, but I quite like this one. From the La Paloma range, this color is azure. You can just pick up those very subtle little glaze details, which come about during the firing process in creating the brick. The metallic detail and light that picks up on those adds another dimension to your exterior, but why not go interior as well? Of course, brick has so much versatility. In some of these gorgeous images that you're looking at, this modern style allows you to be playful with your use of bricks. You don't have to stay with standard brick bond or stack bond. As you can see here, hit and miss is another way to create a featured texture on your home, allowing light to filter through as well as air. To complement these finishes, we want to stay dark and moody. It's a really strong feature in the industrial style. And the perfect jumping off point is this dark roof tile. Being made from terracotta, it's a high performing and hard wearing finish. The profile being in planum looks perfectly in keeping for a modern industrial look. And the color slate is actually locked in color technology, meaning it will never fade throughout the lifetime of the product. To complement this color further, we're of course gonna pick it up for the gutter, fascia and downpipes, finishing that look and allowing it to continue around the rest of the home. As we move to the rest of the finishes, we wanna add a little bit of timber texture. If you think of the exposed timber beams, the floors and posts inside former industrial buildings, it makes perfect sense. And mixing timbers here is perfectly fine. We've gone for a lighter timber for the garage door, a little bit more blonde, and the horizontal detail in the timber grain complements the texture in the brickwork. For the door, something a little bit richer and darker, more of a statement. Black windows, of course, echo the darker finishes on the roof. Now you can tweak this to make it your own. White windows can still work for the industrial look, as can mid-tone greys. But here, black is perfect to create that really modern, edgy feel. For those wanting a rendered detail, we need to pick a paint color. So of course, I'm gonna look at the scheme that we've already created and work from there. Tones like these charcoals are perfect. Deeper tones or lighter tones, depending on whether you're trying to blend in or contrast with your bricks. You can go for a more warmer tone or slightly blue like these have because they work so well with the browny tones in the brick. But remember, we're dealing with a modern industrial look here. So you do get pops of color. Pops of red, blue, yellow are all perfectly in keeping in our scheme. So why not add that red somewhere in your home, possibly for a front door or a nice accent detail. Because we're dealing with a residential application of our modern industrial style, we wanna have more scope for finishes. So there are other finishes that we can add to this. Why not continue this slightly reddish theme with a beautiful introduction of terracotta as well as pattern. The kite breeze block offers you such a beautiful geometric pattern. 
And there's not many ways that you can add pattern onto a normal facade, but for the industrial style, this is perfect. This rich terracotta tone works so well with the dark, moody charcoals and browns in the rest of our scheme. It's great to filter light, and it's also great to limit the amount of heat and airflow into your home. And if you wanna add further texture, this brick has got a linear detail that runs through it. It's from the La Paloma range in the color azul. And this linear detail runs vertically in the brick. Even if you stack bond it as it is here, or brick bond it, it's allowing you to add another dimension to your facade. We've got the foundations of a beautiful looking home on the outside, but of course we need to continue that on the inside for our modern industrial look. So I look straight for the flooring here in a rich timber tone. If you can imagine all of those gorgeous hardwoods on the floors, timber posts and beams that you're gonna find in a former industrial building. Well, this is a great way to replicate that look in your own brand new home. Look for textured timber in dark tones and continue that use of texture into your soft flooring as well. Wool carpet is a nice way to introduce a natural element high in texture and rich charcoal tones not only work with our scheme, but they're very practical, especially for a busy young family. Concrete tones are another addition to the scheme. If you think of all of the use of concrete in industrial sites, it's a common feature and you can introduce that through cabinetry or in feature wall detailing. We've got a beautiful mixture of dark, moody tones, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming and dark on the inside. Lighter wall colours in a greyed off or beige light tone will allow all of these dark colours to pop and contrast without the spaces feeling overwhelming, small and dark. And running into our bathrooms, Again, referring to that concrete look, this slightly undulating tile is perfect for our bathroom floors. It's got a very nice textural surface, but as well as those gray tones that are concrete inspired, why not play with pattern? And add or play with geometry is a great way to add another dimension to your industrial scheme. As we work through to the rest of the home, of course, we've got cabinetry. Deep inky blues and those charcoals and greys are great for your cabinetry, in your bathrooms, in your feature cabinetry, and of course in your kitchen. The particular bench top here is an aged, honed concrete look. This rich dark charcoal helps ground the space in keeping with the rest of the palette. And then of course I can still add some textual elements in my cabinetry, like this beautifully fluted timber feature panel. Working through our industrial inspired interior, we're gonna find our way to the alfresco, our outdoor entertaining space. Of course, we're gonna see our brick again as it flows all the way around the home. But we want a hard wearing surface for our floor so that we can entertain without any fuss. We've got a great range of pavers here. This color black from the Kiopi paver range is perfect for an alfresco. Again, it's almost got that sort of natural granity look, but it's emulating really well a concrete look. So it's perfectly in keeping with our style. But one finish that I really love here is also from the barrel range. Barrel blue, the Hamlet pavers. It allows you to reproduce that brick look that we've used on the outside of the home, but this time for the driveway or paving. And for your styling, of course, refer back to all of these finishes. In the industrial style, it's great to use a mixture of modern, funky, striking furniture pieces, or mix in some old antiques as well. Add some metallics, some leather tones, a bit of concrete, and some edgy black and chrome detailing, and you're on your way to creating a beautiful, modern industrial style masterpiece. Just because it's industrial, it doesn't have to be cold. It can be utterly warm and inviting. To find out all of the details and finishes that we've used in creating this board, you can jump online to brickworks.com.au. Thanks so much for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Get The Look.